today I'm going to show you how to create a hand lettered effect just using some script or hand lettered fonts from the internet and um, your pencil tool in Illustrator. So um, I'm currently using uh, the font Great Wishes, which is a hand lettered font. Um, and you can find any script font or any hand lettered font that you prefer to work with this. Great Wishes is great because it is free, you can download it, and it is also copyright free. So it is great to use. Um, you can also, when you type in these words, you want to do it by using your type tool and drawing a text box. And then you want to make sure that all of these words are aligned to the center. So if you do not have these aligned to the center, if they're off to the left or the right, go to your paragraph option up here and make sure that you have center alignment. You also want to align the text box itself to the center of the document or of the artboard. Um, so you can go to your uh, selection tool and you can click onto your text box and then go to the align option up here and make sure that you are centered. This horizontal align center is what you want. Also make sure that you have your align to set to align to artboard. Okay. So once you're here, you can type in the word that you want. If you need to space out or kern the text at all, you can do that by using your option key and your arrows. So if I need to pull this in a little bit or out, I can uh, option key, arrow left or right. And if I need to space this down or up, let's see, actually go down to this one, up or down, I can use the option key and up and down arrows. Once you have this the way that you like it, that's looking pretty good to me. Then we need to add some embellishments to really make this look like it was hand lettered um, and original, not just a hand lettered font. So there are tons of different embellishments that you can use for hand lettering. Um, some are just extra little lines that you can put around the letters. Some are extensions of the letter itself. So I'm gonna show you a couple of those and how you can make them look a little bit more natural uh, just by using a few tools in Illustrator. So let's start with our pencil tool. We're going to use this for uh, what we're doing here. And I'm going to click off of my text and then go to my pencil tool because what I want to do is flip this uh, fill and stroke option so that I have no fill and a solid stroke. And I want to probably start with a three point, three, three point, three point uh, stroke. Uh, so that I can kind of see how that's going to um, look with a little bit of thickness on it. I can add some thickness eventually, uh, but if it's really, really thin at first, it's kind of hard to get a sense for it. So at least start with like a three point uh, stroke here. And then I'm gonna go in with my pencil tool and I'm gonna imagine kind of how I could extend this H out. So I think I'm gonna take the H and swirl it up and kind of have a little curly bit right there. So I'm just doing this with my touchpad. It's gonna be a little inelegant, not perfect. And there I go. So again, it doesn't look amazing at this point. It's decent, but uh, nothing really too pretty to look at. And if you notice too, here on the end of my stroke, it is really abrupt. So I just kind of have, let me zoom in here so you can see, I just kind of have this flat line. Uh, so one thing I can automatically do to make this look better is I can go into my stroke window here. And if you don't see that, you can go to window and select stroke. And then I'm going to change the cap to a rounded cap, and I'm gonna change the corner to a rounded corner. The co rounded corner isn't that important, but I just kind of always go in and change all of my caps and corners to rounded, uh, just because I think it looks a little bit prettier overall. Um, you can also change the profile, the width profile of your stroke, but we're gonna wait to do that until we've kind of smoothed this out. So to smooth this, we're gonna go back to our pencil tool, click and hold down, and then go uh, into this family of tools and find the smooth tool. Now the smooth tool will do exactly what it sounds like. It will smooth out a selected stroke. So here we have our stroke selected and I'm going to uh, just click and drag along the stroke with the smooth tool. And you'll see this will make the stroke look a lot more elegant. And it's done, there we go. Yeah, so it just kind of, it eliminates some of the unnecessary anchors and it just kind of makes it much more flowing and smooth, which is why it's called the smooth tool. So that's great. 
Um, now, a couple things you may want to try at this point. You may want to go in and add a width profile. So I'm going to try width profile five here. And maybe I will flip that actually, because I want to have a little bit more thickness down here where the H is. Now, another thing that I can try, um, if you look at where the H is starting here, or I guess ending, and where this line is starting, it doesn't look like it just extends out from that H. It looks like it's a line that was drawn to the H. So we want to change that, and we can do that by going into the Width tool. And you might see that hiding under any of these other distortion options, but we want to go into Width. And we're going to have our uh, path selected here and go in and just expand by clicking and dragging the width of that stroke. There we go. I'm gonna walk that back actually because I wanna do it right here. There we go, right at the end. Okay, now um, I've got a little bit of a bump here, so another thing that I can do is I can go in and kind of change the anchor and the handle a little bit to get that to look a little smoother. And it'll take some kind of, you know, back and forth here before you're really happy with it. Might throw the smoothness off of your path a little bit, so you might have to kind of go back and reshape that. But overall, that is looking much better in terms of looking like that H was just extending up and going out. Now the last thing we can do is we can just, um, or actually this could be um, something that you do before you get to this step, um, but if we go back to the pencil tool, if you want to, you can take the overall stroke, oh actually let me select this, if you want to you can take the overall stroke up a little bit as long as that doesn't affect this connection point here so kind of just see where that looks the best to you and then I'm still not happy with this part I think it's a little lumpy down here now so I'm gonna go back to that smooth tool and smooth it out so again you can see this is just kind of a back and forth until you are happy with what you see all right so now uh, you can also with you know, these extensions are a great way to give it kind of a hand-lettered look, any of your text. But you could also add in um, some other little embellishment, like little lines or little shapes. So uh, we can do that with the pencil tool. We can also do that with the line segment tool if you want to, if you want them to be a little bit more precise. Um, but I'm going to go with the pencil tool again because I want this to look like it's hand-drawn. Um, so I'm just going to draw over here. And I'm going to draw some very simple lines out from this point. Almost like they're exclaiming, you know, kind of these attention grabbing lines. Um, and then again, I want to make sure that those are rounded caps. And I've just selected all of these by holding down my shift key and then my selection tool clicking on each one. And then I'm going to just blow up the size of those. Now, if you wanted these to be more of a shape, you could go in and put a width profile in there as well. So maybe I could do something like that, you know, where it was more of kind of this raindrop shape and expand that up. So that's kind of fun. I think I'll leave it, leave it there. Um, but if you didn't want something like that, you could, you know, just go back to a basic uniform shape, take the size down, and have it be something like that as well. Both of those are perfectly suitable. Um, and you can even go in with your width tool and kind of change up the width in a couple different places to make it even look more embellished. Um, if you do put a width profile on, notice how I change the direction of that width profile just by clicking on this button here. So that's totally an option for you and that gives you more flexibility in putting these things together. Okay, last little thing, I'm going to do the same thing down here with the pencil tool. Keyboard shortcut for the pencil tool is N. So, oh, here I have a problem. Not a big problem, but I uh, didn't change this to a stroke instead of a fill, so it filled it. So all I have to do is just go ahead and swap that. I'm going to bring this up to at least a three, make sure I've got a round cap and corner. 
Um, and then I'm going to go in and smooth this out. So smooth, 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 smooth. This looks really wonky down here. It's looking a little bit better. Let me try here one more time. All right. Yeah, I like that. Um, now in this instance, we've got kind of a thinner point that we're starting with. So I'm going to go ahead and apply um, my width profile that I like. Flip that again and expand this up a little bit before I start changing this point here, this anchor point. That looks pretty good. All right. So um, one other thing you could do if you have these points up here and you like them, a lot of times you'll see the same kind of embellishments repeated. So if I select all of these, I can Command G to group them and then hold my Option key down until I see that black and white arrow and then click and drag it down here. Hit E, the letter E, uh, to get my transform controls and then I can rotate that around and have that down at the bottom too. So there you go. Um, so this just makes it look a little bit more embellished, a little bit more like it's hand drawn. And then um, you can also, if you go in and you make this a compound shape, uh, which I show you how to do in the first video in this series, uh, you can even make this into kind of a coloring sheet, hand drawn letter uh, or hand drawn uh, sign. And that's really fun too. Uh, so go ahead and experiment with some of these and I look forward to seeing what you guys create. All right. Bye.